So Christian fundamentalist TV host Rick Wiles had a very public meltdown. When I say very public, I mean on his show, which probably has like 14 people listening. But then it'll be a hell of a lot more once we mock it, and you'll see it now. Um, he really lost it over Ben Shapiro and Ben Shapiro's success in right-wing punditry. So this is hilarious. Let's watch, and then we'll talk about it. Ben Shapiro denies the deity of Jesus Christ. I've, I've heard him say this before. That's right. What I'm shocked by is that there are millions of conservatives in this country, including Christians, who support him. Yes. Yeah, go gaga over him. Yes. They'll buy his books. They'll buy the, those, they'll, you know, they'll the boost his career. Yes. And yet he openly denies that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. That makes him an antichrist. Yes. All right. St. John said that anybody who denies that Jesus Christ came to earth as God in human flesh is antichrist. Yes. There is no one antichrist. There is a spirit of antichrist, and Ben Shapiro has the spirit of antichrist because he denies that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He denies that he's resurrected. He said, we don't even use that word, resurrected. All right? he, he's a Kabbalist. He yes. laughed when he said prophet. He mocked a prophet. He called him a rebel. He called him a rebel criminal. So why, why are any of you out there following Ben Shapiro? Why? You're, you're schizophrenic. Yes. You're spiritually schizophrenic. Hmm. you got to cut off this stuff. But the money's flowing to people like Ben Shapiro. Right. And the doors are opening for him because he denies Christ. Pretty sure the doors are an opening because he denies Christ. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's not, it's not like, you know, people involved in the political world are like, uh, which right-wing pundit should we invest, invest with? Oh, which one denies Jesus? That's the one we got to go for. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, so I have an answer for, for Rick Wiles. He's a better charlatan and snake oil salesman than you. See, Rick Wiles is a deep, deep, deep fundamentalist Christian. And when I say that, what I mean is, like, he was, he's been described as an end times broadcaster. Like, that's how Right Wing Watch used to describe him. And it's not like they made that up. It's like they looked at his broadcast, and I think he was one of these guys who would be like, the end times is coming. Oh! And it, he's almost like a caricature of, a, you know, a hair on fire, fire and brimstone televangelist who is so deeply embedded in his ideology that to him, he thinks all this is obvious. Like, look at that conversation they were having. To them, it seems obvious. Like, what do you mean? He's a Christ denier, so obviously he's evil. In their circles that they run in, they're like, yeah, that's right. Now you hear that and you're like, whoa, if you're even like a little bit secular, you hear that and you're like, what the fuck? So he calls him an antichrist. Come on, man. I mean, that to me, when I hear this, and we've covered other segments with Rick Wiles where he says similar shit about Ben Shapiro, that's that old school anti-Semitism. Like, oh, you don't believe in my religion? And in, in his case, he's Jewish. And, you know, there's a large segment of fundamentalist Christians who are deeply anti-Semitic. And then there's other ones who are massively pro-Israel simply because they think the apocalypse is going to happen there. So they don't care that most of the Jews die in that story in the Bible. They're like, fuck them, I don't care. But they want, it, they're massively rah-rah Israel for that reason. So there's this weird mix of like super pro-Israel but anti-Jewish. And that's kind of what you're seeing. You called him an antichrist. He called him an antichrist. A Kabbalist. The fuck? But Rick, here's the problem, dude. He's a better snake oil salesman than you. So Ben Shapiro, you know, I there's no bigger opponent of Ben Shapiro than me. I disagree with him on basically everything. Like, there are other flavors of conservatism where I'll, I have tiny points of agreement where we can extrapolate on that and not totally hate each other like myself and libertarians okay we totally disagree on economics but hey we agree on social issues we agree on war we agree on drug policy so we can work together on certain things even this new brand of paleo conservatives some of the paleo conservatives are not for all these wars great i guess there's a point of agreement there some of them are even somewhat populist on trade policy and they're not totally anti-tariffs and they fight outsourcing great we can agree on that stuff um, but movement conservatism, which is what Ben Shapiro represents, in my opinion, is basically wrong about everything. And 
I think history actually bears that out because the closest we've seen to an mo old school movement conservative president recently is George W. Bush. And he was without a doubt the worst president that we've recently had. Multiple wars on the credit card. Ben Shapiro was a big cheerleader for virtually every war that's been pushed from the military industrial complex. So he, che he serves as a cheap prop a chief propagandist, I can't speak, for the deep state. Um, and, you know, for all the horrible economic policies that have tanked our economy, both leading up to the Great Depression and leading up to the Great Recession and the subprime mortgage crisis. Of course, I'm talking about massive deregulation and tax cuts for the rich. Um, he's a ardent, hardcore capitalist, and, you know, he totally strawmans anybody who's even slightly to the left of him and social democrats and democratic socialists and... You know, he uses really disingenuous arguments oftentimes, but the thing is, he's good at making people who don't know this stuff think that he knows what he's talking about. So he packages it in a way, and he argues it in a way, and he talks really fast, where people go, oh, I guess he knows what he's talking about. And he is probably the principal defender of standard Republican establishment politics. Okay, and remember, Trump was not his first, it was more like... I. Could have been Ted Cruz. I know Steven Crowder was a Ted Cruz supporter. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, but, you know, he was more the establishment Republican variety. So he puts like a young snake oil charlatan but quick-talking pseudo-intelligent face on standard dumb right-wing ideology. And he's there's a market for that that he's cultivated well. And a guy like Rick Wiles, that market is just not that big anymore. The market of, like, the actual Kool-Aid-drinking, fundamentalist Christian, real Bible-believing, and letting that infect your politics as much as it does for Rick Wiles, there's just not that big of a market for that. And also, you don't talk as fast, and also your arguments are worse. Even though Ben Shapiro's arguments are wrong, I can see how other people who don't know this stuff well can fall for them. With Rick Wiles, it's just like... No, you're just really bad at this, bro. Like, you're not good at this. Go pick up another thing, okay? Because you're not going to get anywhere, okay? Like, you exist solely for people like me to beat up on, dude. That's what you exist for. So, um, yeah. The answer to your question as to why he's so popular among Christians, among right-wing Christians, is because those right-wing Christians actually care more about their adherence to Republican dogma and ideology than they care about their adherence to their religion. That's the truth, is that these evangelical Christians, these fundamentalists, oftentimes they are more married to republicanism than to Christianity. And Ben Shapiro is one of the patron saints of republicanism and one of the chief propagandists for republicanism. And you, Rick Wiles, are not. You're kind of sloppy and lost and you don't know how to craft arguments, even bad ones. So that's why... He's a lot more successful than you, and that's why you're going nowhere. And if your response to this is only to sit there and say creepy things like he's an antichrist and do, like, old-school anti-Semitism in response, well, have fun, uh, you know, swimming in place, because that's all that's going to happen.